Crunch talks are underway in Malaysia as Barisan National leaders decide if they should ask the Prime Minister to step down. Right, let's uh, take a closer look with Ibrahim Sufyan from the Medeka Centre. So Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin is now facing calls to resign. Has this request for a state of emergency actually done him more harm than good? Well, thank you for having me on. I think uh, from the uh, what has been developing, it certainly has uh, been more harm than good, uh, partly because the backlash against the call for an emergency has been widespread across Malaysian society. And the decision by the Malay rulers uh, has, I think, tarnished or rather diminished the image of the prime minister somewhat. That, you know, gives the impression that he doesn't have uh, the full scale support of the rulers, uh, let alone his coalition partners. And the king seems keen for the politi politicking to stop and for focus to be on the pandemic. Why is that proving to be so difficult? Well, I think it goes back to the political equation here in Malaysia. You have, you know, two sides of the political divide that's uh, very evenly matched. And Mr. Mohidin, prior to this, you know, presided over a razor-thin majority uh, uh, coalition. He only had a two-member of parliament majority. And now, I think the buzz going around Kuala Lumpur is that some of these political politicians, particularly from one of the coalition partners, AMNO, is contemplating either withdrawing support or uh, continuing to support, but certainly with some concessions and changes. Uh, and so, even though the king has asked the politicians in the country to focus on the pandemic, uh, but I think uh, a lot of it depends on how this politicians can find ways to work together. And I think the events that has led to the decision uh, yesterday has made it increasingly difficult because a lot of these political parties have competing interests and claims that uh, cannot be successfully managed by the present administration. So, Mr. Sufian, um, let's just touch on the upcoming budget, clearly a crucial test for the Prime Minister. And how do you see this panning out? Well, I think we are still in early stages. You know, the budget is uh, supposed to be tabled on November 6, which is, uh, you know, next week. And uh, as things currently are developing in Kuala Lumpur and here, we are noticing that the MPs, particularly from within the coalition, have started discussing whether to continue to support the Prime Minister's administration or to pull out. Uh, I think we probably might hear of some decision within the next day or so. Uh, at the same time, uh, the budget is currently being prepared. So this is going to be tabled uh, on next Friday, uh, on November 6th. So there's many, many things that can unfold before now and uh, the date of the tabling and let alone the debate. So we could potentially see uh, more surprises in store before the budget actually sees the light of day. So it is indeed very uncertain. Yeah, there, it's quite clear that there are fractions or fractures within the ruling coalition. Now, would an election solve things? And is there an appetite for an election amongst the Rakyat? Well, uh, certainly an election is uh, one of the surest way that this current political impasse can be resolved. Uh, but I think the concern is that the number of COVID-19 cases keeps on rising, uh, particularly in certain parts of the country. And there is a widespread perception that the recent upsurge in COVID cases has been related to uh, the, conclu the recently concluded elections in Sabah, where the number of cases now are running into several hundreds per day. Uh, so there is a concern that if one has an election, the SOPs wouldn't be adhered to uh, strictly and that the pandemic uh, or rather the virus, which is already out there in the community, will spread even further and create a greater problem. So there is a great aversion among the country's leaders as well as political parties as well to avoid an election. And therefore, what really stands right now is whether or not they can compromise or whether Prime Minister Mohyuddin can be flexible to reach out to other political parties uh, to seek consensus and support his budget.
Thank you very much. Many thanks for your thoughts this evening. Ibrahim Sufyan from the Merdeka Center.